Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn on Thursday objected to a bipartisan resolution that affirms Russian responsibility for the 2016 election interference and demands the notes from President Trump's one-on-one -on -one conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. House Intelligence Committee ranking Democrat Adam Schiff, D. Califf, said Wednesday that Republicans are just going through the motions of the investigation into Russian collusion with the 2016 Trump campaign. The District of Columbia would be blocked from fining people who do not have health insurance under a bill passed Thursday in the House. A former campaign aide to President Trump is certain Roger Stone will be indicted in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation, but doesn't expect his longtime mentor will turn on the president. Rand Paul, our Kentucky, charged Thursday that hatred for President Trump that members of the Senate now seem more willing to risk rising tensions with Russia than to allow the Trump administration to continue diplomatic efforts with President Vladimir Putin. Special Counsel Robert Mueller submitted a lengthy list of evidence federal prosecutors may use in the upcoming trial of former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort that gives a glimpse into Manafort's life of luxury. Actor Mark Duplass apologized on Thursday after being skewered online for suggesting liberals reach across the political aisle and follow conservative firebrand Ben Shapiro on social media. Hillary Clinton chastised the White House on Thursday for not immediately ruling out Russia's request to interrogate and prosecute former U.S. Ambassador to Russia Michael McFaul. Senate Democrats on Thursday turned a meeting on President Trump's nominee to lead the IRS into a referendum on President Trump's behavior toward Russia, and said the Senate should use the nomination as leverage over Trump. I remember, when I was in Afghanistan, hearing a report that coalition soldiers on a dismounted patrol in a neighboring province had been killed in action by a suicide bomber. I anxiously awaited word of which American unit they were from, I had friends in the area. Video footage of porn star Stormy Daniels' arrest last week for inappropriately engaging in physical contact with a strip club customer has been released by Columbus, Ohio police. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, D. Califf, hit President Trump Thursday after he refused to rule out giving Russian authorities an opportunity to question former U.S. Ambassador to Russia Michael McFaul in exchange for access to 12 Russians recently indicted for hacking Democrats' computers. Senate Democrats want to intervene in a lawsuit that would end Obamacare's protections for pre-existing conditions after the Trump administration declined to defend the health care law. The top U.S. military commander overseeing operations in Syria said Thursday he has received no new guidance about cooperating with Russia following President Trump's meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki this week. Harvard Law School professor Emeritus Alan Dershowitz said it was a terrible mistake for the Justice Department to announce indictment of Russian officials ahead of President Trump's meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier this week. At least one-third of House Democrats are formally pushing for the U.S. to adopt a government-funded health care system in which all residents of all ages would be covered under Medicare.